So this is a, one of these things that I just randomly added to an order. And it's designed for uh, ultraviolet curing of UV active nail lacquers. Not that I actually wear UV active nail lacquer. But the thing itself is this tiny little uh, light here. And I was really wondering how powerful is the LED in here? Well, that's a kind of rubbery lens over that. Uh, and what sort of wavelength of ultraviolet is it? So this thing is supposed to sit down like that and you're supposed to like put one finger under at a time and uh, it cures it with ultraviolet energy. So let's uh, get a USB power supply and a one of the little uh, voltage, the current monitors. Uh, let's get something beefy in. Let's uh, get... Oh, we use this. This will do. So uh, I'll plug this in. 5 volt on the button. Plug that into there. Plug this into there. And push the button. Oh. Right. It's quite a powerful. Uh, so it's showing 5 volts. The current it's drawing is. Let's wait for it to switch the current. 320 milliamps. Now, I wonder if it's just a resistor in there, or it's got an active switching circuit. Certainly the ultraviolet, let's say, uh, when it goes near the... Uh, oh, it's not really helping the fact that uh, the... Yeah, the deglow thing is kind of swamping out the light anyway. Yeah, it certainly excites it, though. It makes it very bright. So let's uh, pop this open and take a look inside. That's uh, really why I bought it. Not a terribly expensive little device, it is just more of a sort of gimmick, I suppose. I, I mean, I suppose ultimately, if, if it's the right wavelength, then it will cure the, the nail lacquers. And it is fairly bright and it is directly next to it, so it probably works quite well, I would guess. Uh, I do have... I do have a ultraviolet curing resin. That might work. But let's uh, cover, take this, pop this off. I don't know if there's a timer in it. I didn't actually try that. So what have we got? We've got uh, the magic little 8-pin chip that just appears in everything, but uh, possibly isn't the, the same one every time. I don't see a number on it at all. No, it's, it's just none of them ever has a number on it. Look at that. Um, it's got a little transistor to switch the LED. It's a typical sort of one wattish style LED. And then it's got a big fat 3.3 ohm resistor, so I'm guessing there's no fancy current regulation in this. It will just be this little uh, microcontroller acting as probably a timer then. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to plug it in. I'm going to go and uh, grab that uh, ultraviolet curing resin and see if it's uh, all cured yet. And yeah, one more. I'm just going to uh, pause momentarily. Okay. Time for some experiments. I've done a test. It runs for about one minute and then it turns off. So it's got a little timer built in. I've got some ultraviolet curing resin here. Just generic eBay ultraviolet curing resin. And I'm going to spread some onto this printed circuit board material and see if it uh, cures. So uh, this is... Uh, I've had this resin for a while. So let's put a big blob on and then I'll cure it with ultraviolet and then I'll stick my finger on it and we'll see if it's gooey and sticky still. So I'll put this uh, in a dark area. Yeah, I've had this for, for a while, but it still seems to be in liquid form. I do keep it in a dark area, though. So let's... Uh, so that's all gooey. Uh, let's uh, press it and uh, expose it to the ultraviolet at a rough height that this sort of the... Uh, a nail would be. How's that doing? Oh, blimey. I think that's actually cured already. Hold on, I'm going to give it the finger test. It's it's gone solid. Right, okay, so um, yeah, that's that looks like a good... Perhaps it's worth actually getting one of these just as an ultraviolet curing light for, uh, for when you're using the glue and modelling because uh, it's a powerful enough little light that the... Uh, this resin here won't be cured because it's still sticky. Uh, but that stuff is hard. That is not uh, sticky at all anymore. Yeah, that's that's impressive. So uh, these little uh, nail curing lights, uh, 
do look like a fairly useful source of a little, you know, it's just turned off, of a little uh, ultraviolet, portable ultraviolet curing thing for modelling and stuff like that, I'm guessing. So that's pretty neat. What's its quiescent current when it's not uh, activated? Is it going to display, hurry up and display, hurry up? Zero. Although, having said that, it'll probably be a bit more than that. But yeah, interesting little thing.